I don't know. We just got to keep finishing the game. That was the emphasis. Point, uh, Coach Barnett was emphasis was finish because you know you got 60 minutes in a game to play, so you can't you can't relax or you can't let the the game affect you. You got to go out there and do your job, and that's been the point of emphasis too. Was it like just the physicality of the game that wore you guys down? Was that a mental lapse? What was? Oh, uh, it was. A, they're a physical team, and they they, they play tough, and uh, I think we just needed to keep being able to push push it uh, with them because we knew there was going to be a dog fight and uh, we, that's what we were preparing for all week and um, I think that was that's just how it was and uh, they got the best of us today but uh, it is what it is so we should just get built up upon that it looked like you had a line on him though I mean, do you think you, did you see that comment uh, no but I mean I should have been more aware that was on me um, not being aware I just got to come down and do my job better Final position they had for me. You guys were out there for 20 minutes the first half, and they started pounding the ball on the ground. How much did, did, did you guys feel like you guys were down at all with their, their physicalness? Oh, no. Uh, we're physical. I already know that. That's never crossed my mind. No team going to come in here and try to, you know, what us. Um, but, you know, we just, we just have to do our job. We all have to execute. And that's a big thing of why what happened happened. We want to execute. What were you guys trying to do to stop them once they got on a roll and started to run the game? Were you guys trying to, on the sidelines, talk about things to combat that? Or what, what kind of adjustments did they make? Um, I mean, we have our plays. We know what they're doing. I mean, really just at the end, we just all have to do our job and execute and finish. Um, I mean, if we're not doing our job or somebody's out of place, you know, a run's going to break because, you know, it takes all 11 of us on the field at the same time to uh, make a play. It's not just one guy, so we, we all got to get together. Tell me about the deep interception. Deep. That one. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I saw the guy coming up, and um, he had broke out. And, you know, I felt I felt if I undercut it, I could make the play. And so I undercut him, and I made it. So, you know, um, that was definitely good. That gave us uh, some momentum. And, we, you know, we just got to keep building upon that. And uh, once we make plays, we got to learn to um, – learn to get rid of them, you know, and just move on to the next because, you know, we have a lot of stuff uh, that, you know, there's a lot of game left. How does flipping uh, Malik down there and, and Angelo back, uh, how does that change you guys defensively? What do you hope to get out of that? Um, you know, uh, it works a lot, you know. It interchanges us a lot. We all play. Um, we all can get more involved now, I feel. Um, you know, Malik's big body, having him down there is good. And, you know, Jello is a um, – you know, he's a vet, so him on the back end, being able to help control and everything, you know, that helps out a lot. You know, we can roll down and do whatever we have to do. I guess just how do you describe sort of like the frustration level, man? I mean, when things have gone the way they have, and you guys, again, have been in some positions to win games, and, and yet here we are just uh, with sort of the pulse of the locker room, I guess, right now. Um, You know, it's frustrating, you know, to work so hard and just come up short, you know. But, you know, with the guys that we have here, you know, we just gonna keep coming in and working every day. You know, it's hard, but nobody's gonna roll over on their back and just take it and do all of that. You know, we come in to fight every day, and our biggest thing is when we come in to fight, we just have to finish it. When things started to go wrong a little bit, you guys had a lead. It started to go away, and then they started to take over the ground. But does your team take trouble like staying right for it, or do you, do you realize that the wilt factor comes in, like people start wilting a little bit? And um, you know, um, you know, um, I think I think a lot of teams take shots. I think it's just more of us just having to just stay on top of our game and execute. You know, yeah, we've gone through a lot, but you know, other teams have also gone through some things. But we just got to keep we just got to keep coming in every day, wanting to get better and working. Um, but it's, it's, it's hard on us, but, you know, every guy has that mentality of wanting to work and coming in and getting better. There hasn't been a day a guy just gave up and just not wanting to do anything. So I think we'll, I think we'll be good. You know, we just we just, we just have to finish. Did you know this Minnesota change anything when they started to find success or just kind of a little wear down? How did they get, start to get rolling on offense with that run game? Um, uh, you know, they – probably watched film, saw some things uh, that happened, and they tried to 
adjust to that and do that. But you know, even on even if they did, you know, we have to adjust and we have to make plays and we have to be better and just finish and execute. Yes. Their uh, opportunity is there, and when they out there, they make the best of it. Yeah. 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 Y